exactly a year ago today, I was in the hospital for a whole week before like um, being overly, just like overdoing it and stuff, like doing too much, helping people and not helping myself and my heart just quit beating. Like it would quit beating for about 10 beats and I was gasping for air and fainting. And they said, literally, if I didn't rest, my heart, well, because I didn't rest, my heart was forcing itself to rest. I'm going to drop those videos. Like, I had said I wasn't going to post those videos, but at, but but as a reminder to myself not to let people take me out of character, not to let people stress me, not to let other people's issues become my issues, over the next couple of days, even though I'm supposed to be on my sabbatical handling business so I won't be stressed, I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to roll that bean footage for you. I'm going to give y'all those videos just so I can have that reminder to myself. have no respect for your issues, your time, and what you may be going through. It's your responsibility to yourself to do whatever you have to do to handle your business. If you have to cut off yourself from everything, whether it's your friends, your family, social media, do what you have to do. Don't let anybody manipulate you or control you to doing something that you know you don't want to do. Handle you first. You have to handle you. If you don't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. But hey, welcome back to All Things Now for a little bit of everything all in one place on YouTube. I just come in right quick for a little chit chat because I just have a quick question to ask y'all. When somebody shows you who their loyalty is to, do you continue to deal with that person or do you cut them loose? Leave it in the comments below and let me know. Is it worth to continue to try to salvage any kind of relationship and be friends with the person or should you cut it loose? Question number two, number two, number two. The person shows you their true colors for the second time. Two, 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 second time. Do you keep the faith and keep trying or do you give up on it? Leave it in the comments below. Question number three. When people are disrespectful of your time and schedule, how do you handle those people? Do you stop dealing with them? Do you just, what do you do? Let me know in the comments below because I'm the type of person that when people keep being dis disrespectful of my time and my schedule, I cut them off and I eliminate them out of my life. Just, I love them and I miss them, but it's not worth the stress and the headache if they're unappreciative. When people are unappreciative and they have a team of me mentality, like they only care about themselves, they don't care about the people around them, have respect for their time, what they're doing or their life or what or anything like that. What do you do? What do you do? Guys, let me know. You know where in the comments below. Yes, baby, yes. So these are our questions of the day. Got more topics you want to discuss? Leave it in the comments below. If you don't want to leave it in the comments below, hit me up on my IG and my inbox. And let me know questions you want me to discuss. And we will get to them.